Hi guys, welcome to today's mini practice. Today our focus will be a little bit of strengthening for the shoulders, upper arms, the legs, the buttocks and the core. All you need for this practice today is a mat. Pause the video, grab your mat and I'll see you back in a moment. We are going to get started by coming onto hands and knees, knees directly underneath your hips and hands directly underneath your shoulders and we'll sit back on your heels just for a child's pose stretch here. So from this child's pose you're stretching your arms forward and as you inhale so drop your chin in towards your chest begin to round the upper back come up nice and slowly and then allow the hips to sink down lift the heart inhale and then we'll bend the elbows, so work our triceps, keep the arms hugging in towards the body, straighten the arms, and then round the spine, come all the way back. And then we'll do that again, so chin moves in towards the chest, and begin to round the spine, come up nice and slowly, inhale, sink the hips, shoulders away from the ears, we'll bend the elbows, maybe two or three inches, keep them hugging into your rib cage, straighten the arms, and then round and come all the way back. And we'll do this two more times, chin into chest as you round to come up, sink the hips, lift the heart, bend the elbows, straighten the arms, and round and come all the way back. Just one more like this, chin into chest as you round and come up, sink in the hips, lift the heart and the head, bend the elbows and straighten and then we'll come all the way back again. And now from here we're going to make our way into a high plank. So you can tuck your toes under, lengthen the spine, lift your pelvic floor muscles, and then from here, we'll drop your right knee towards the floor. So keep pressing out through the left heel. Think of creating a dome shape in the chest so you're drawing the chest away from the floor. No tension or holding in the neck. So there's a couple of options here. You can leave the toes of the right foot on the floor and just float the right knee off the floor and engage your core. Or if it feels okay, you can lift the toes off the floor and draw the knees into your chest. And then we we'll lower down, lift up again. Lower, down, and lift again. Two more. One more. We'll stretch that right leg back. Sit back on your heels. Fully stretch out the spine here. And now we'll do the same other side. So starting off in your high plank, and engaging your core and we'll release the left knee to the floor. So you have that same option as you take that knee underneath your hip. You have the same option here to just engage your core muscles to lift the knee off, float the knee off the floor or if it feels okay you can lift the foot off the floor as well. We'll do four in total so as you exhale lift up, draw in, inhale lower either all the way down or float above the floor, exhale lift, inhale lower, Exhale, inhale, exhale last time and release both knees to the floor and stretch back on your heels here. Press the forehead down. We'll take two breaths here. And then coming onto hands and knees. So we've worked a little bit of shoulders and arms now, and we've worked a bit of core and abdomen. So knees underneath your hips, back into your tabletop. And what we'll do is we'll start by crossing your right knee over your left. And then from here, as you take it up, lengthen the leg, lift it, but squeeze the glute muscles here so you're not overarching into the lumbar spine. Take that leg out to the side, lift it straight back up, and bend it in. So that's one, and we'll do seven more. So lift it up, out to the side, lift it up, and back in, that's two. And up, out to the side, lift it up, and knee to knee, three. Up, side, up, knee to knee, up, side, up, 
knee to knee, up, side, up, knee to knee, just two more. Last one. And then from knee to knee, we'll stretch that leg all the way out from the hip, bend the leg, take the heel over or the toes over towards the left buttock. And each time you lift the, the toes towards the left, squeeze the buttock for eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Take the knee down, sit back on your heels, take one full breath in. And let that go. And then we'll change sides. As this is just a mini practice, we'll just do one round of each, but you can go ahead and do up to four rounds. So starting knee to knee to start. So you're crossing that left knee into your right. Lift the leg, squeeze the buttock, take it out to the side. Lift it up. That's one knee to knee. Lift up to the side. That's two, knee to knee, lift it up, side, lift it up, that's three, four, five, six, seven, And eight, and then from here, stretch out the leg, bend it, take the toe over towards the right hip, squeeze the buttock for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring that left knee to the floor. Just stretch back, hips to heels, walk your hands forward. And now to finish up, we can cross our ankles and roll onto your sit bones. So a little bit more for the arms here. We're going to take your hands behind you, your feet flat on the floor. We're going to do some dips here. So tricep dips. You can keep the hips on the floor if, this, if you're new to this, or if you like, you can take your hips off the floor. We're going to bend our elbows, let the elbows go backwards, and then as you begin to straighten your legs, squeeze the triceps. And you can let the hips drop down a little bit, and then lift them up as you straighten. Six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. So if you're used to doing this, a lot of things you can do, you can cross your ankle across your thigh and do it, or do it from a chair so you can go a little bit deeper. We'll just release the hips to the floor and shake out the hands. And we're moving in just to finish off our workout this evening or a little mini practice. Take your feet on the floor, take your knees into your chest. We're finishing off with a little Navasana boat pose. So to start with, you can take your hands behind your thighs, engage your core, so lift your pelvic floor, and then just rock onto your sit bones here. So already, even if the toes are just an inch off the floor, you're challenging your core to balance. The more you hug the knees into the chest, the more you're engaging the lower abdominal muscles. So this is a starter. If this feels okay, you can float the legs up. So we'll hug the knees in, take the ankles in line with the knees, Maybe you can think about lifting one hand away from the legs, the other, if that feels okay. Just take the knees in, lift the heart. Breathe into what you're feeling, palms facing the legs now. Palms down, facing the legs, and up. And facing the legs and down, facing the legs and up. Two more breaths here. And then we'll cross our legs. Take your hands together at the heart. Relax your shoulders. Close your eyes. Just check in. 
Notice how you feel physically. Mentally, emotionally. Let me close our practice by taking a breath in, drawing your breath from the base of your spine. Inhale. And from my heart to yours, we bow. Namaste.